are you doing on the bench? <laughs> so today is my lucky day. If you guys watched my last vlog, I was sitting in this exact position and I was like, ugh, I called the salon that I've been wanting to get a haircut at with this specific um, hairstylist and she had a cancellation and I called them 10 minutes after she'd posted about the cancellation and someone already took it. And I have an existing appointment with her in December, but my hair is getting like really ragged and I like really need, I'm desperate for a trim. And so I've been like dying to go to this lady, right? And so today I was just like scrolling on Instagram this morning and she posted three minutes ago that she had an availability for today at 4 p.m. I've never called a number so fast in my life. And guess what? I got the appointment. So I'm going to go get my hair cut at four. I'm really excited. I'm just getting a trim, which I don't want her to take off too much length because I really, I'm trying to grow my hair really long. And then I just want to get like a lot of layers for volume. And then I think I kind of want to do like the curtain bang thing a little bit, like nothing too crazy, but I love having these pieces like this. And I feel like if they were shorter, it would look um, just even better. So, I will put a picture here of what my like inspo kind of is, although I don't want to go as bangy as that photo just because I think I have thinner hair and I don't know if I'm ready to commit to the full bang. But yeah, I am so excited. So I'm definitely going to bring you guys along for that. I also saw on TikTok this girl tried at La Colum, which is a coffee place in New York City. I believe they have it in other places. They're known for their draft oat milk latte that's like this fluffy drink. I guess they have a chai now that's also fluffy. So I think maybe after I go and get my hair cut, there's a La Colum like right by there. So I think I'm going to check that out as well and just kind of have like a little day to myself. I also have to do some laundry and stuff and kind of clean up the apartment before this hectic week begins because I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I head to Florida on Saturday for my brother and sister-in-law's gender reveal. Also, on top of that, my sister started to have contractions. My sister's also pregnant. There's a lot of babies happening in the family all of a sudden, but my sister started to have contractions yesterday. Um, and she's still at home and everything and they're not that close together and stuff and like this morning she like stopped kind of having them so that's also on the agenda we don't know when that's gonna happen my plan is to be able to go to Chicago and go there when she's like giving labor or at least like right after but it's 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 mother nature so there's a lot going on. So anyway, I need to do like laundry and be prepped to leave to go to Florida, but also to Chicago and God only knows where. So that is the plan, but I'm just so excited to get my haircut. That's like the best. So let's do it. So I've decided to start transitioning my wardrobe from fall, no, from summer to fall. And so I am just going through what is in my drawers currently and separating it out by things I wanna donate, things I wanna throw away and things that need to go into storage. I have these like really great, like honest, like kind of like attic space um, above my closet where I keep my stuff that is out of season in those like vacuum sealed space bags. So it's just kind of starting to get cold. I always keep some stuff that's like bowl seasons in my wardrobe, but I think it's like time to put away the jean shorts and things like that. So I figured I'd take you guys along. I just, I've been needing to do this and today I have free time to do it. So I'm getting it done. It don't 
change a thing I remember yesterday Like wedding bells in summer rain I give to you my love, my life, this ring So I finished up my closet. I have like all my sweaters in here. One of the things I love about having my fall stuff like up here and my summer stuff is like I forget about some of the stuff that I have and it's like shopping in my own store. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is get new drawers down here. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I feel like now with the season changing, it's the time to do it. Um, I need to just get ones that are more narrow because these ones like I can't open them fully and so I end up just like shoving everything in there I mean it's just like pajamas and extra sweatshirts and stuff but I would like to get like just thinner ones so that I could like see what's actually in there and make it more organized so I'm definitely gonna have to like measure that and like look for new drawers but yeah Hi. why must we play this game you just come here. I don't want to play this game anymore. Come here. I don't want to go to the dog park? Come on. I'm going to do something nice for you, but if you don't come and allow me to put your leash on, we can't go. Sad news. Aha. Caught ya. <laughs> Caught ya. Aha, stinker. I won. I won. Go to Puppy Park? Yeah, you are my own hell. I won't let you out my sight. Then I would have no life. And someone else would find your beauty in my What are you doing on the bench? Ignore my really messy apartment, but I got changed to the hair salon just because I want to look kind of cute. I put on a sweater that I found in my storage. It's from Zara. It's really cute. Um, and then I have my A Goldie jeans on. I've got some white socks on, and I'm just going to throw my um, Prada loafers on with it. And then I just have my gold tubes on. Nothing special. Um, and bring my little black shoulder bat. But yeah, I'm excited to get my hair done. Hopefully it turns out good and then after the salon i'm going to head probably to la Colum to get that chai i think depending on how late it is because i also don't want a lot of caffeine because i want to sleep well tonight so tbd on the chai tbd on the chai but i have to go i'm running late Okay, you guys, I'm back. Um, I didn't end up going to Lock Lum. I might do it tomorrow just because it was like five o'clock and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to sleep if I drink it. But this is the haircut. It looks so good. Look at how short these pieces are. They're really short in the front, but I love it. I feel like it just adds like so much like volume and judge to my hair. I just think it's like the best. I'm actually obsessed with it. Like the amount of movement it has and volume. It's just great. So highly recommend checking out any of the stylists at IGK. Um, I know they have one in Miami as well. So if you're in Florida, check them out. But literally just the best. So great. She crushed it. She really, she, she crushed it. I feel like the lighting here is really horrible and also my battery is about to die. However, I wanted to check in because Thomas and I are gonna go to dinner. We're gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants in the city, like an OG of mine called Lupe's. We are just gonna grab some dinner. I don't have a ton of groceries in my fridge just because I'm leaving from Florida soon. So I kind of just want to quick grab a quick like dinner, um, but he's still working. So I think we're gonna meet in about like a half an hour, which I'm just, I'm really hungry. So I'm really 
really excited for Lupe's. Um, but I guess I will bring you guys along for that. Um, and that is kind of the only update I want to say. So there's that, I guess. Give you my thoughts and I watch them <laughs> hi hi um i came in um like not even a week ago and i got powder gel but one of my nails um is already chipped i was wondering if you could, if i could come in and have you guys fix it Here? Yeah, I did it here at your place. Uh, you you want to right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What time? Um, could I come in around eleven thirty? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. See you then. So it is the next day, and I just called the nail salon because my nail literally already chipped i can't if you guys watched my last vlog you would know that like i've been struggle bus city with but nail salons because the one that i love is on the upper east side and it's just like such a hassle to go all the way up there i mean it really isn't but to go get your nails done it just like turns into like a whole day shenanigans and i don't really want that and so the place by me is pretty good but they're just their powder gel does not stay and literally one of my nails already chipped so I figured I would go and get that fixed today before A, it gets worse, and B, before I have to go to work and go to Florida this weekend. So that is on the agenda. And then I don't really, I don't really know what else is, but yeah, there's that. <laughs> So I just finished making some lunch. I just made myself an egg sandwich. Nothing too exciting. I figured I would like catch you guys up on my knitting. I have been feeling a little anxious all of a sudden. So I was like, let me just knit. I think that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna knit for a minute, but this is the front of the sweater. So I finished like the back square portion and then this is the front, which I'm almost done with the front. And then I just have to do the sleeves, but I figured while I knit, I have asked you guys on my community board a couple of times to ask me questions and I just honestly forgot to recheck them. So now I'm gonna answer the ones. I know I asked one about like when I was with my friend. So I'm just gonna answer all the questions that I personally can answer, if that makes any sense. Next question is who are your favorite YouTubers? What channels do you watch? I watch kind of like an eclectic view of vloggers. I love Tara Michelle. Her vlogs are like amazing. I love Emma Chamberlain. I watch Sailing La Vagabond. That's kind of a very interesting one. They're like Australian and they typically live on a boat, but currently they were like selling their boat. So, and building a new one. Um, and they're like a family that like lives on a boat, which is pretty interesting. Who else? There's this one girl who I found from TikTok and I actually, oh yeah, Hallie Burns. I've been loving her stuff lately. So if you haven't checked out her channel, I would definitely check it out she is just like cool funky i like the way that she vlogs i feel like you're part of her life and like it's really just interesting so that's who i'm currently loving oh and i love paige sikoski for new york vloggers watch sometimes paige lorenz and ella mcfadden's like sometimes theirs my favorite i would say who i watch the most is probably emma chamberlain and tara michelle okay, how is dating in new york and have you seen any celebrities dating in new york is like the hunger games it's 
like so impossible it's not like the movies like I think when people think of New York they're like well people stop you all the time and like I feel like I have more not like privacy but like no one gives a rat's ass what you are doing on the side of the street like no one in their right mind is going to stop you and be like hey do you want to get a cup of coffee and if they did you'd be like absolutely not like that's so weird why are you asking me on the side of the road do you know what I mean so like that doesn't ever happen it's not like the rom-coms in New York at all so like you have to find people off apps and that alone is just like horrific have I seen any celebrities yes I've seen a lot of celebrities recently just not my like restaurant alone I've seen Tim Gunn Spike Lee well I haven't seen them but my friend saw Harry Styles and Shawn Mendes and Camilla but yeah all the time you see celebrities all the time it's a lot of times hard to recognize them because I feel like they're pretty like with the masks and everything too like it's harder to find them but yeah you see celebrities all the time okay the next question is is it dangerous in New York City I feel like no personally I mean it's a city so like there's a lot of people there's a lot going on if you're being dumb and like you're not like being aware of your surroundings then like yeah like you have to definitely like you're not like walking through your hometown I feel very safe in New York but I know where I'm going I you know keep my head up I'm not on my phone as I walk around I don't know like all of those little things you try to walk on like the more lit side of the sidewalk I don't know but I don't find it very um dangerous but then it's like a big city so there are parts that are probably more dangerous than others but I personally don't find New York to be very dangerous okay what is your new job does it leave you time to film exercise and audition so I work as a hostess at a very very nice restaurant in Columbus Circle so basically I just do like normal hostessing things like I bring people to tables and make reservations all that good stuff and does it leave me time <laughs> like no <laughs> it's not exclusively that it's just like another thing added to my plate so I definitely like I said earlier like have been dealing a lot with like time management do you have travel plans for next year I don't currently I wish I did I would love to go to Europe. I know like one of my friends and I have been thinking about maybe going to Europe, but I don't know if that will like actually happen. That requires saving a lot of money and all of that good stuff. It's also really expensive to leave Randall and boarding. So being gone for like a week, it's like an extra hotel room. Right now, it's not currently in the works, but I would absolutely love to do it. Um, and if something comes along, I 100% would travel. Also, I don't consider like going home to Florida traveling, if that makes any sense. So like I'm doing that, but that's kind of it. Have you dyed your hair a color of the rainbow? No, um, I didn't start getting highlights in my hair until I was in like my senior year of high school or like college, early college, because I've always been really blonde. And then as I got older, my hair got darker. And so I started to get highlights and that's literally it. I've just been doing highlights. Um, I thought about maybe being like ginger because I come from a family of redheads, but I don't know. I, I, it scares me. And also like with acting, it's such a pain in the butt because you have to like get new headshot. Like it's a whole rebrand. So no, I haven't, but never say never. What's your favorite movie and TV show? My favorite TV show is Handmaid's Tale by far. It is so good. It's so dark but so well written, so well directed, so well acted. I just think it's it's just an amazing show. My favorite movies are for like corny ones. I love Because I Said So, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. And then I also really love Little Women. I've been like on a little Little Women kick for a minute now. So that's now my new my new favorite so i think that is it for all the questions i think i'm gonna end the vlog here if you liked it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys